Welcome to part 8 of Hitman, Traditions of the Trade. I love this mission. Though it can have its ugh, bullshit moments. Um, I really like this one, it's interesting. This one's also been redone in uh, Hitman contracts. Highly trained terrorists, ruthless and rentless. Yeah, we'll see about that. Great uh, camera footage there. Alright, uh, uh, I'm not gonna get anybody armor. Budapest and the Thermal Bath Hotel. What a classy looking place. And well guarded too. It's time to look sharp and concentrate. A good thing I brought my suit. You're always wearing a suit. What are you talking about? So I've also uh, previously played this level. Um, where I tried to, you know, do the do it as fast as I could. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to take out the first target, uh, the dentist. I made a reservation for two days. And what was the name, please? Mr. Tobias Reaper. We have a nice room for you, Mr. Reaper. Could you place some here? Okay. Looks like Mr. Wolf is in room 202. If you want me to check your mail, just hand me over your room key, okay? I'll keep that in mind. You give me the key? What are you doing, mate? Scratching your ass, holy shit. Oh, I thought I got a key. Um, yeah, alright. I'm pretty sure I'm meant to be getting a key, but, um... <laughs> Yeah, it doesn't really matter, I don't need it. Alright, so now we're to change into this. Oh yes, look at my body. I'm sexy. Coming to show off my junk to all the women in here. Oh, no, no one. Oh, there the woman. Hmm. Alright, sorry, uh, my headset died again. Alright, yeah, let's talk to this Hitler-looking motherfucker. Oh, he's not really a Hitler-looking motherfucker. He kind of is, but he's kind of not. Got in Himmel. It is certainly hot in here. Yes. Yeah, well, but I must be careful. I have a weak heart, you see. Don't stay in here too long, then. Look at my awesome abs. Time for you to die. Oh, bad luck there, buddy. There you go. Let's go see this fucking monstrous fucking heifer. Christ, I think one of her tits is as big as my head. Holy shit. Oh my god, you're ugly. This is a woman's dressing room. So obviously you cannot enter with your present sex. But Chef has meat cleaver that could fix your problem. Jesus. Fucking hell. Did this bitch just assume my gender? Do I even have junk? Oh, I kinda do. I might identify as, you know, a fucking retard. Yeah. Well, anyway, so we've got the uh, x ray key now. Uh, because he's the one that has the bomb, if I remember correctly. It's, yes, it's stored in the uh, dentistry. So what I'm going to do now is wait for this dickhead to open the door and then steal his master key. I'll close the door for you, buddy. Thanks. Hi. Bye. Alright. What do you want? Can I see Mr. Wolf? 
Not without an appointment. Okay. Some other time, then. Like now. now I'm just going to wait for the person to actually come out. And then I'll, uh, I'll jump over once he's gone. Because I don't want to jump over. And, um... Fuck everything up. Oh, the fuck up! Jesus! Nothing good to look at here! Okay. Okay, the doors are closed. I'm seeing it makes like absolutely no reason to really sneak, but we'll do it just for the hell of it. Oh, there we go, we've got him. Alright. So we've got some letters from the drug lord. We've got one from France. We've got a dentist business card. Oh, Jesus, I'm not ready to read that. We've got the hotel key to uh, pick up mail. Pick up the sign. And we'll pick up this. Alright. Let's read these letters. Okay, so this is from the drug lord. Dear friends, I don't give a shit about splitting the fruit. I want better men who follow orders. Drugs are keeping me fit and I believe they can keep me on top. Spare the babble of this old man. If you have any problems keeping your hands steady, I can always send you a package of my fine white... Elix... I don't even know how to pronounce that. She keeps me as steady as a rock and sharp as nails. I don't know why I'm speaking in a Russian... fake Russian accent, but anyway. If it weren't for my powder, these damn tribesmen would have already killed me. A blood and muscle, Pablo. There he is. Look at him, he's rentless. Look at him. Oh yeah, he, he, he looks rentless, doesn't he? Yeah. What are you doing? Oh, you... He's well, that's a load of bullshit. Alright, let's try this again. Don't do this. Hey. Don't do this. Hey. Alarm, alarm. <laughs> That didn't go so smooth. Okay, it's okay though. It's okay. Okay, so we're gonna get a uh, sign. Gonna open the door. There you go. So that stops from any. Um, <laughs> what do you even call them? I can't think of the word. The cleaners, basically. Bellboys, whatever the hell they are. Um, it stops them from coming in. So yeah, I can't believe that's actually happened, like, I never sort of stuff up on this mission, but, um, no, first time for everything. I'm not saying I do it perfect every time, but, I don't know who that, f that fat fuck think he is, you know, fucking getting shot and whatnot and just living. Piece of shit. So, I'm gonna drop weapons, because, uh, metal detectors. Oh god. There we go, nothing sus. <laughs> But hell, where am I going? Alright. So now the next step. Well, there's a few things you can do. Um, you can get a basically a shotgun to shoot people. Um, by giving Mr. Fook's key. And then, you know, you get a... Oh my god, get out of the way, you stupid old hag. And, um, it's a... Uh, ironic... Oh, well, not ironic. It's a, uh... A tribute to uh, the Terminator movie with the flowers and the shotgun. It sort of plays off in the same sort of uh, way, but you know, I do things a bit differently. Now, yes, this is what I want. I'm gonna sneak in through the uh, window. I gotta say to police. Yeah, nothing sus, mate. Leave me alone. What 
Let's wait for this dickhead to stop looking at me. Look at you, judging me with your fucking eyes. Okay. I'm holding a briefcase, but I'm strangling him. Alright. I'm just gonna drop this, drop this here for the moment. How would you feel? The receptionist is on the other side there. All right. I don't even know why I sneak, it's just a habit, you know, because of the other Hitman games. Basically I could just walk up and, you know, most of the time it doesn't do anything. Alright, so now we're going to get the bomb. Place it in there, there we go. Now this causes a bit of a problem. We, uh, we've got to get through the, uh, metal detectors. Now it's pretty easy, but there's a bit of a cheat way. Hi. But I'll try to do it another way. I'll try. Well, there's a couple of ways you can do it. I'll, I'll try to do it the legit way. Basically, going down the uh, elevators. The only thing you can't do. Well, legitimately, you know, the last metal detectors are outside. They're the ones that basically, you know, stuff everything up for you. But it's okay, that's where the mission sort of finishes. But what you basically get, what the hell? I'm a shadow. Alright. Basically what you can do is... Now this is actually a lot easier than I thought. You can actually drop it in front of you. And then pick it up once you've passed the metal detector. But just for uh, the exciting scene, I'll run through. Wow, yeah. look at them all. If I only had 50 of them in Vietnam, it would still be French. I think his nose is very much like mine. A handsome devil. That could be so, His genetic is derived from the DNA of everyone here. All of our None of our weaknesses. Well, there you go. That Basically, he was just saying, you know, it's all from the DNA, so that makes a bit more sense. There you go. Only cost me $110. Expenses. So, um, yeah. Hope you uh, join me for part 9. Thanks for watching. <laughs>